This is this is weird, but right here kind of smells like when you have just like when you've just bought a new Lego set and open up the bag. I can't recall that smell. Great. Hi there. Hey, how you doing? We're making a cooking show where we go door to door and offer to make people lunch. So if you're interested, we'd love to cook you lunch today. Yeah, no thanks. Okay, no. well right, have, have a great day. day. Wow. What a smiley man. man. Yeah, he was a bit too smiley. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. That actually scared me for yeah, a second right? when I saw yeah, it. Me too. And this is the first, first house we passed is actually haunted. Imagine a guy dressed up in black. Come in, if you dare. <laughs> Hi there. Hey, how you doing? Hey, we're making a cooking show where we go door to door and offer to make people lunch. So oh, it's okay. I'm a bit late for work, so oh, I'm just going to... Oh, all right. Sorry. Okay, have, well, a have a good day. Cheers. Hello. So is there anything else? This is, I've been furnished to this building before. I want to get into this one here. Let's try it. What were the people who lived there like? The lady. She was nice. Uh, no, thank you. No? no. Oh, so that's not the lady. I like the socks and sandals there. Was he wearing them? He had work and socks on. Socks and sandals are really underrated, I think. Ooh. They're just written off as terrible, but I love the combo. Yeah, no, I'm not sure you keep going. I feel like we should keep going. I feel it in my legs, though. Mm. Really, really feel it in my legs. Basically, haunted one, but permanently haunted, not black and white haunted. There are two types of haunted. haunted. You know what I mean, though. I, I kind of do. Two colour palettes. From More kind of like moony haunted. Do you know what I mean? Like, read your tarot cards. Ooh, I don't know why, but those kind of bells when your legs really ache. Just hit so hard. Can we, get, can we get your legs on cam there? Yeah, Just any sign of life <laughs> would be amazing right now. Oh, this person has plants. That's a sign of life. I mean, it is, just it's plant life. Well, beggars can't be choosers. True. Hi there. Hiya. Um, What's that? <laughs> we make a cooking show where we go door to door and offer to make people lunch. So if you're interested, we'd love to cook you lunch. lunch. You just had your we lunch. I just missed you. Oh, oh my would you God. have? You're coming round to make my lunch right now? Yes. Well, that's very good. So you <laughs> chefs or? Uh, uh, well, we, kind of. We, we, <laughs> we just cook cooking, cash, but we... It's more like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I'm just thinking, you know, I mean, because other times it would have been great. Well, I mean, like, maybe we could come back sometime. Another, yeah. Hello. How are you Hi. doing? How are you doing? Nice to see you. Hello. 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 How's it going? I'm Chris. I'm Ed. Nice to meet you. Hello. How are you doing? Thank I'm you. Hal. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hal. 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 Yeah. Hal. And Ed. And Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Hal and Ed. Ed. Yeah, well, that's right. Well remembered. How are you doing? Hi there. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Hal. Hal. How? Yeah. Wendy. Hey. Nice to meet you. We were just introducing our ingredients. Uh, so today we're making an aubergine and uh, bean casserole mm. kind of thing. Yeah. With some yeah. couscous, With some, uh, right? couscous, yeah. Um, so we've got some cannellini beans here, chickpeas, chopped tomatoes, actual tomatoes, tahini, an aubergine, two avocados, and some couscous. So whereabouts in Canada are you, uh, are you from? Uh, Quebec. Yeah, One yeah. of my favourite books was like set around this like Quebecois like se like separatist terrorist group. They're all in wheelchairs as well. They're the wheelchair assassins, and they're trying to find this video that's supposed to be so compelling that anyone who watches any of it is compelled to watch it, and they don't stop to drink or eat, and so they just die watching it. Okay. So um, oh, I know Quebec, uh, Chris from Canada. Mm. Yeah. I see. Yeah. What are you doing in Canada then? Um, yeah, complicated. Oh. <laughs> 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 so we're going to sauté this in sort of small cubes for a little bit until it gets a little brown. Very nice. Brand. You know, because Brexit has mm. going to affect younger people more than older people just because of age. Yeah. There should be a component, you know, so that like your vote is multiplied by your age minus 100. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that the younger you are, the more powerful your vote. Or more the more well, swear you got. Um, this is another band. Oh, we've got another <laughs> yeah. visitor. Yeah. Oh. This is, hello. hello. This is Anthony from something called Golden Leaves. Hi. This, this oh, hi. Like, yeah. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Is this Secret Kitchen? Stranger Kitchen. Stranger Kitchen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
So Andrew's here. And is this one in the front? Have you got it? Yeah. That's a tomato. From Bill Disease, which is about. Cannellini. Oh, nice. Sorry, say it again. It's about funeral, my funeral, really. Are you planning it now? Well, I'm just looking into. Because we're of an age where, you know. A lot of my friends are either ill or dying. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I have to start thinking about those things. Yeah, we've I just pre-arrange pre the funeral so people get a chance to pay for them so it doesn't mm. leave it to the family anymore. It's no. just too expensive because you've got to find all that money within yeah. 14 days. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know how much a funeral costs in this area? Have you been to one? Have you did, spoke well, to the family that have dealt with one of these? I mean, we've been to have a few guess. funerals, but I, I've never sort of really taken on board how much it costs, you know. Funeral directors in, in London, they're, they're more expensive than anywhere in Europe. Yeah. And that's the problem with burials, it's expensive, but you're not getting anything for it. Mm. But nowadays, in this country, you can't you can't buy a plot now. It, you, you have to lease it. You lease it for 25, 15, 75, 100 yeah. years. Then after that time, if it's not renewed, it's used again. My family from the West Indies, so, you know, we're, we're, we are we're normally very... Yeah. I'm not going to be buried, I'll be, I'll be commenting. It's just, I think it's, it, it comes across as a bit of a waste now, especially in this country, because you never know what's going to happen. Plus, mm. after your generation passes or your kids' generation, nobody else will come and see you, will they? Really, <laughs> let's be honest. But cremation itself is probably better, yeah. because, mm. you know, the, the ashes could be, could be scattered wherever you want, <coughs> be at the I bottom of the garden with, with a rose bush growing. Yeah, yeah we're, I like you know, to be buried with a tree. No, that's yeah. right, yeah. 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 I've got meetings with, with the <laughs> coffin club. What, what do they do they, exactly? They make, they make their own coffins, embroider them as well, really? decorate them. and The so coffin club. club. Yeah, it's, it's a coffin club. Right? It's called a coffin club. It's called the coffin club, yeah. <laughs> and it's just a general thing about talking about funerals where people just haven't got a clue about how it works. Mm. I've got a lot of people, I mean, even myself, you know, once they've dealt with their funeral, they start thinking about the things that they want. And I also remember at, at my mum's funeral, that it, it also felt like a gift, you know, that, mm. because it, exactly what you said, it makes you aware that you will be dead. Yeah. And that the life that you have left is precious in a mm. way. How do you want to live that life? Mm. Exactly, which we don't always live like that. No. Maybe get you cook, you cook you, you can cook me on <laughs> <laughs> Well, but it's different. It's slightly different for me. For me. I mean, I, I um, my mum and dad's are from the Caribbean, so I cook West Indian food, of course. But my dad's side are Chinese, and my mum's side are Indian. Oh, and so I cook something for my kids on Saturday, and I said it's just going to be a, a, a plain, plain old shepherd's pie. Mm. Oh, nice. nice. Like that. Yeah. I think one of my new favourite things is white sweet potatoes. Have you ever had those? Oh, yeah. White sweet yeah. potatoes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're, they're gorgeous. Some yeah. day work with Tommy, they are the best ones. They are the best the ones. Wine. All right, then. This is a pleasure it's to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Jay, thank you very much. Yeah. 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 Lovely to meet you. That was right. super interesting to listen into. Yeah. Put some lemon on that avocado before well, it goes brown. <laughs> yeah, that's the. <laughs> it already is one. Unfortunately, I think we might have missed the boat on that. Yeah, that was a. Interesting interlude, actually. Yeah. I think Eric had spoken to him, but I didn't actually really think that he was coming. Didn't know that he was coming here and then. Mm. At first I thought, like, I thought when you said, oh, it's just Eric's friend, I was like, oh yeah, it's like, God, he's talking a lot about his funeral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to move the, the our appointment forward because um, this is Wednesday's last night, but isn't it? Mm. You're going, going back tomorrow. Mm. How long so, have you been here staying? Oh, just over a month. Mm. So I started at Liverpool 50 years ago this month. 1960. Within months. Within months. <laughs> <laughs> because the university had huge investments in South Africa. You know, oh right, yeah. Africa. Yeah. John Snow was one of them. Was he? Yeah. In the in the sit-in. One of the ten that got sent down. John Snow, the China Four Newsreader. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. That's <laughs> great. John Snow's so brave. But well, he had a brave reunion man. at 40 years and all the people in the city, but he couldn't come to it. Uh, yeah. well, now I've decided <laughs> he is a bad guy. So, are you still at university as well, though? No, I actually didn't go to university. Uh, well, I went well, to you and then I left. <laughs> and same with me, I left because it, you know, I realised it was a big. I'd, all I imagined about university just wasn't there. What did you um, study at university? Or what, what did you Chem do? Chemistry, which was one wow. of the reasons. <laughs> <laughs> like it. But it wasn't that, it was just a fact that, you know, I'd, I'd gone there. Really, I mean, I'm trained as a scientist, but really I wanted to do something more on human, around people, you know. So I, I thought, oh, well, you know, the other thing about the course I was doing, it was doing an industrial year, so I thought, all right, I'll get out with people. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and I said to the broker who was organising, I said, um, okay, I'll, I'll stick, take it out, but um, 
in this industry, I had to go into a place where there's, you know, lots of people that you can exchange with. So he said, well, I've got your place, Doom Raid, a nuclear power station, a maximum of six people. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and I thought, so terrible. And I thought, I'm not stuck it up. Yeah. <laughs> so terrible. I wasn't really interested in engaging in business per se or co commerce or anything mm. like that. It was more about people, more, more the interesting thing, and the yeah. engagement with people and supporting people and things like that. Really, I mean, I, in Sheffield, I know I used to see all these factories, and they're fascinating places. But it's used to terrify me. You know, you know great big you know, whirring machinery. And yeah. And I thought I don't want to end up in a factory. You know? yeah. Somehow you know somewhere underneath this is this is the direction you want to take. Yeah. yeah. But you've just kind of got to expose yourself to it to kind of figure yeah. it out. Yeah. It's, it's easy to know what you don't want to do. Yeah. 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 I think a lot easier. Yeah. I mean, I, as I said, I ended up as a counselor working with drinkers, and I thought that all the various things that I did. It was really good because I'd been into dark, lots of different areas. Mm. So you and you get all sorts of people who've mm. got problems with drinking, and you can have a way of connecting into those people because you've had yeah, maybe you've done that's that's cross section yeah. those yeah. jobs. Yeah. And I, so I thought it was all really helpful mm. in the end. Yeah, all that stuff, all that wide experience. Mm. I mean, I was once called as an interview, <laughs> and I was called. The man said to me, he says, "Well, Mr. Holmes, you've been a bit of a bum, haven't you?" <laughs> <laughs> We learned to play saxophone for 50 years. How not to play saxophone? You told us it was for three years when you last saw us. No, well, 50 years I've been learning how not to play. What's the last three years I've learned how to play. Okay, nice. Yeah, nice. Well, so, just, you know, yeah. And he's had a lot more fun. Yeah, playing more fun, yeah. yeah. And in a way, the orchestra is about those people who um, <coughs> thought about playing an instrument or used to play at the start. Mm. You know, don't think, well, can I start again? Yeah, yeah. Because um, a lot of people come from work, you know, because you know, they start at 6.30. Um, and they're looking quite drained, they sort of mm. put in central London or something. Mm. Even though the people weren't playing perfectly, they mm. enjoyed playing. Well, it's, it's because music sounds better doing it together. Yeah. 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 I think music is a language that we should all have, really. Mm. You know? But we exclude ourselves, don't we? Mm. You know, I mean, nearly everybody drives or you know, has a go at it, so mm. you know, I can't see why we, we can't play yes, it. Yeah. Why don't we hear more you know, on their street corners or through mm. the open mm. windows and things like that? Yeah. Yeah, I love that so much. Just you walk past the, the house. house. Yeah. Playing. It's so yeah. much fun. Mm. Ed, what will you do when um, Hal's gone back? Cry. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Will you carry on? Do well, I mean, do I'll, I'll, I'll stop eating for one because <laughs> I only eat at these <laughs> lunches. Yeah, exactly. yeah. well, again, we weren't expecting the funeral planning. Yeah, I like to bring opposite things together. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Life and things. death. <laughs> Gin and milk. <laughs> 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 Yeah, no, we don't I'll have, have a double chin. We should um, we should pack our stuff. I, I feel like we've been here for a bit already, and you guys yeah, have yeah. a um, a last day together kind of schedule to go yeah, on with. Yeah. I'd imagine. Um, well, well, thanks, thank you, thank you so much. Both, yeah. Lovely to meet thank you too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Looking forward yeah. to seeing you. Again. Lovely yeah. to meet yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, you're very thanks. welcome. Thank lovely you. to meet you. Yeah. Have um, have a lovely day. Yeah. And, um, good, good luck with all the funeral preparations. I'll definitely invite you along. Thank you, please. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, oh, thank you very much. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, Christ. Uh, all the best. Yeah. yeah. yeah oh, really. Yeah. All good. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Cheers. Have a um, have a lovely rest yeah. of your day. Thanks. Right. Thanks again. Bye. Bye. So, um, I think I should say the hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so we just came out of cooking for Chris and Wendy and Eric, and you know there was death, there was life, there was music, not much strife. A good, good time, time was had, you can't deny. Bye-bye.